does have positive exponents. It can be a constant. All right. Now, different types of polynomials, more specific. What separates terms? Do you remember? Pluses and minuses. Remember that? So if I don't have any pluses or minuses, that would be one term. That's a monomial. Guess how many terms there are in a binomial, like a bicycle? Two. So I'd have two terms. I'd either have a plus or a minus in between oh those. Trinomial, obviously, three terms. And for our purposes, if we have four or more terms, we're just going to narrow it down to a polynomial. Okay? So, I'll ask you, is this a monomial, binomial, trinomial? And then anything four or more is going to be considered a polynomial. Okay? Now, here's the terms that we're going to focus on right now. Degree, we're going to talk about the type of polynomial. And LC stands for leading coefficient. Leading coefficient. All right? So, let's talk about degree. Now, degree is your largest exponent. If I am doing a polynomial, I am going to put my terms, my terms in descending order. What does descending mean? Going down. Yeah. So if I look and I have all these different terms, I'm going to make sure that descending order, that deals with your exponents, not your coefficients. It deals with the exponents. So if I'm looking here, there are no exponents. This is a constant. What's this degree going to be then? Say it, Howard. This is a zero. There aren't any degrees. Type, type, that gets specific. We're going to use terms like constant. This is a constant. There's no change. No change at all. No matter what, your output is 4. Other, other uh, types, where is it? What kind of equation is this? What will this make? A line. Guess what this type is called then? Linear. Linear, absolutely. It's degree one. It's a degree one. How do I know that's a degree one? Because X. Because what's X? Who was I talking to? Oh, Lex. There's no exponent written. What is it? One. One. So degree one is going to be considered linear. We'll come back to leading coefficient here in a second. What's my largest degree here? <coughs> two. So what is this degree what? Degree two. Anybody know what kind of uh, polynomial this is? We just got done spending a whole chapter talking about them. Quadratics, yeah. So we'll call this a quadratic. Because it's a degree 2. Yes? Degree 2 because the exponent is 2? Your largest exponent is 2, yes. Now, you look at this and I see a 2 and a 1. It's like, if you were a woman, you would understand this a little bit, maybe. If a guy comes to you, two guys come to you, Herlika, and they want to marry you, okay? They both get down on the exact same time. Honey, will you marry me? And they open up this little box, and there's a ring in there. And you look at one, and it says it's a two-carat diamond. The other one's a one-carat diamond. I love you too, honey. <laughs> Give me that two-carat diamond. So if you have choices, you're going to pick the be greedy. We're talking about the largest. Now, take a look at this. Is this a polynomial? A scene says no. Why? Because you have a negative exponent. Once you have a negative exponent, ladies and gentlemen, we're done with you. We're not going to work with those. Those are not polynomials. Holman, you got that? 
Yep. We don't like negativity in our world anyway. You're the one that told me about that. Yep. So you just write like no solution? No, we will just skip it. It's not a polynomial. Okay? What's this going to be? Degree what? Degree three. I got to remember what a degree three. If I have a specific name for it, I can't remember if I do or not. Oh, cubic. Duh. Three. Three dimensional. <laughs> cubic. Anybody want to guess what a degree four polynomial? What is it? Close. It does have a little French in it. Cortic. Okay? And that's as high as we'll get. We'll get into some degree five, but we won't get types or anything like that. But these, these are your different degrees. Now, leading coefficient. Here, I'll draw on. Leading coefficient would be the coefficient of the term with the highest degree. So in this case, there really isn't a leading coefficient because we don't have any term. It's just a constant. So this one, you don't have a leading coefficient. What's your leading coefficient here? Three. Three. Do you agree? Okay. What about the next one? Yell it out. Two. Continue. Negative two, and then the last one. Negative two also. Okay? Those would be your leading coefficients. So we talked about leading coefficient. We talked about degree. Now, what, what do you think the term filler means? Maybe we'll skip that for a second. We'll come back to it. We've said descending order. Okay? We've mentioned those terms. Any problems about degree, type, leading coefficient? Okay? Now, what you will find out is we're going to get into the end behaviors. We're going to talk about the picture of what this picture is going to look like. In a picture worth 1,570,000 words. You've heard that saying before. T, isn't that what they say in Vietnam? Yeah, that's right. I knew it. I knew it. I saw that one time. Okay? So, here are some pictures. When we put in an x value to any of those, we pick a value for x and plug it in. Out will come. Remember, this could be a y value, f of x, y, same thing. Yeah, Howard? Uh, how do you spell type? Say that again. How do you spell type? Type is based on the degree. One is linear, two is quadratic, three is cubic, four is quartic. Okay? So, your degree of every polynomial is going to be one of two things. It's going to be either even or it's going to be odd. Correct? Here we had a degree... That is odd, even, odd, even. Correct? Any problems? So, we're going to talk about our odd degrees first. Okay? Um, in both of these pictures, oh, I need to write degree here. In both of these pictures, these are pictures of odd polynomials. The reason that I know that it is odd is the end behaviors. End behaviors is talking about the direction that your picture is going. This one's going up. This one's going down. Odds go in opposite directions, up and down. Think about a line. Here it is. Opposite directions. Think about... And even, a quadratic, it was either smiling or frowning. What are my end behaviors, same or different? They're going in the same direction. Same, 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 same. Different, 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 different. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> odd, what? 
on. 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 If they are going in the same direction. If they are going in the same direction. She needs to I can't believe it. Even. <laughs> Sorry, I have to get back to it. Yeah. Oh, I'm talking in the video. Even. Don't you think it's kind of weird if, if <laughs> kind of odd if things go in opposite directions? <laughs> Don't you find that weird? <laughs> Daph, Daph needed a little wake up call. She, she had the old sleepy eyes going. Can I post this? <laughs> <laughs> I got that on video. <laughs> okay, let me interrupt. So, I odd video degree. Now. now, the other thing that you're going to find out is the leading coefficient. Now, if the leading coefficient is positive, positive, the, this in behavior, as we read a book, is going up. If the lead coefficient is negative, then it would go downward. So if I ask you, hey, I would like for you to demonstrate an odd degree with a positive leading coefficient. Okay? Positive lead coefficient. Odd. Degree. Opposite or the same? Opposite. So, now I better turn this way so it makes more sense to me. Okay? Odd means we're either going to be this way or this way. Correct? If it's positive, this hand going up. If it's a negative lead coefficient, we're here. Odd, you ready? Odd, positive lead coefficient, odd, negative lead coefficient. Odd degree, positive, odd, and negative. We'll talk about those here, we'll talk about this point in a second, okay? Now with even, they're going your end behaviors are going in the same direction, either both up or both down. Guess what the leading coefficient is here? Positive or negative, based on our past experiences? Positive, positive absolutely. And here, negative. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, set your stuff down. Just set it down. You don't have to stand, Daph. We're gonna come back to this. No, don't shut it down, brother. We're gonna we're gonna go. Okay, we're gonna come back. We got four seconds to do this. Okay. First of all, I want you to do an even degree positive lead coefficient. Go. Even degree positive lead coefficient. I gotta turn around. Odd degree. Odd degree positive lead coefficient. Negative lead coefficient odd. Negative lead coefficient even. Okay? When we start class on Thursday after the after we take a quiz, we'll take a short quiz. We're gonna do some aerobics. Make sure you Al, like you said, make sure you stretch. Okay? Alright. Now, what this is saying. X values move this direction, correct? Now, as my X value goes to positive infinity, that means it goes forever this direction. What's my, what's my Y values or my function values going? Are they going up or down? As I move this way, which way is my green line going, up or down? Up. So what would I write here then? It's going to go forever up. Forever up is positive infinity. As I move to the left, do you agree that to the right is positive infinity, to the left is negative infinity? 
you will have a positive and a negative infinity for all of these. I probably should write them the other way. Yeah, how come the arrow is still going to the right? Huh? How come that arrow by the x is still going to the right? It's, it's just saying as x goes to infinity, as x goes to negative infinity, as x goes to infinity. So I'm going, whoops, that's not fair. So now, you're going to do this every single time with your pictures. These are called in behaviors, describing it. X is going to go to positive infinity every single time. And it's going to go to negative infinity every single time. What you're answering is, what's my picture doing? Is it going up or going down? So in other words, positive infinity is to the right. Negative infinity is to the left. So as I move to the right, am I going up or down with this picture? Up would be positive infinity. So up is also positive infinity. Down is negative infinity. As I go to the left, I'm going to negative infinity. As I go to the right, what's happening to my picture? It's going down, which is? As I go to the left, what's happening to my picture? It's going up. As I go to the right, what's my picture doing? As I go to the right, what's my picture doing? Up, which is positive infinity. As I go to the left, which is negative infinity, what's my picture doing? Going up again. Positive infinity. Howard. I still don't understand the distinction like with the exits. Like because they all look like it's basically saying. They are. So how can you how do you tell without this is picture? basically this is the right side of my picture. This is the left side of my picture. If they're going the same way, like if the arrows are both going the same way, though, how is one negative and how is one positive? I, well, mean, I mean like on the actual graph, like this they're both going this way. Yeah. The they're not. They're both going positive. Oh. But my x values have to go positive and negative. So the x values will always be? Always will be this. Okay. Always. But then, okay, I get it. Now what's my picture doing on the right side? Both going negative. Yeah, so they're both negative. Yeah. yeah. Would your x values still do that if the line didn't cross the line? It will always do that. Always, forever, you will have this on every single, when you're asked about in behaviors, all the time. This takes practice. It is confusing the first day. But we got some video to look at. We also will do this a lot. Okay? We'll do this a lot. So if, if you're confused by it, be patient. It will come. Yes, ma'am. No, the only thing that's on the quiz is exactly what you did on the review. Okay? Okay, so in behavior is done. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about is these two. And we'll use these. You will learn to love. You will learn to love synthetic and direct. Here is a function. First of all, let's do the aerobics real quick. I, you can already show me what this picture will look like, basically. Raise your hands the direction that it will go. Is it even or odd? Even. Leading coefficient, happy or sad? Happy. So where's my arms, Al? Showing off my armpit hair, right? Yeah. Get out. Get alfalfa out of your armpit. All right? Good. So what we are going to talk about is direct substitution first. What I'm going to do is say x is equal to negative 2. Direct substitution just says, hey, if x is equal to negative 2, I'm going to plug it in. So every x, I'm going to plug in negative 2. Let me put the exponents in. So 4, 3, 
two, da da da. Do the math. Negative two to the fourth power, positive or negative? Positive 16 plus negative two to the third power. Negative eight times two is negative 16 plus negative two squared is four times three is 12 minus seven. What does that simplify to? Five, Five done. That's it. That's direct substitution. I took two, I'll give you two, and said substitute it in. <coughs> You'll be given that value to directly substitute. The other one, in two minutes I can do it, is called synthetic. This is procedural. What you will do is take that value that is given. You're going to make a little box. Put that value in. What's the value that I gave? Negative 2. And now you are only going to work with the coefficients. You must have fillers. I'm going to say that again. You are only working with the coefficients. You must have fillers. Do you notice? 4, 3, 2, 1. We don't have a 1. This is what? x to the 0. So what must we have? We need a filler in here. 0x to the first. You have to have fillers. It has to be just like a countdown for a blast off. 4, 3, 2, 0. Who says that? Write your coefficients. 1, 2, 3, 0, negative 7. I'm going to ask you to stay an extra 45 seconds if the bell rings, please. Leave some space. Put a long line. First number, drop it like it's hot. That was tough. Multiply these two. What is it? Negative two. You're going to take that multiplication and put it below it. The next thing you do is, my good friend, Add them. What does it become? Zero. Zero. What are we going to do with these two? Multiply. Write it. My good friend? Adam. Multiply. Write it. My good friend? Adam. Multiply it. Twelve. Write it. My good friend? Adam. Notice you get the exact same thing. Homework's on the blog. Quiz Thursday will be short. Aerobics and learning.